Hey everyone, welcome to another vlog. I'm back in the loft. I spent the last week and a half at home visiting family. It was so nice to see my grandma and hang out with my dad and everything, but I'm back. My plant babies are all healthy and luscious. I spent like the last two days just kind of cleaning my space, but I basically put a stool here because look at these plants like look at my i don't really remember what this is called but she is thriving and i thought it was really cute putting it there i bought these two canvases to do like a fun paint night just to keep the space light but it's because tomorrow i'm getting a piano it was a old piano that i found on kijiji free i'm just paying for the movers to help me get it in here and i think it's gonna go there i've been debating all day whether or not i want to chop my hair off my hair is getting super long as you can see this is me standing normally and then if i lean all the way back it literally touches my bum <laughs> i love my long hair but i feel like it's also long enough where i could chop it and donate it i feel like this is about 10 inches I just wanna quickly show you the outfit for today because I'm obsessed with it and it's super cozy. The knit is thrifted, the trousers also thrifted, but these are from the consignment shop in Toronto. And these sandals are new and I'm obsessed with them. They are leather and shearling. Oh, my hair's in the way. See, my hair is so long, it's always in the way. They're by a brand called Aloha's, which is based in Europe and they do Mostly production based on demand and pre-order, which I really like. And they're ethically made in Spain. Good morning all. Welcome to my washroom. Um, I don't think you've seen my washroom yet. I just painted and finished this wall um, and I did a little DIY in here. Just getting ready because the piano movers are coming in like 20 minutes with the piano. I am so excited about it and I wanted to just get a head start, get my base on. And I really wanted to share um, this concealer I started using. It's by RMS. I kind of just use it to spot conceal and then underneath my eyes. Today is exciting because the piano is coming. I found this piano off of Kijiji like a month ago, but I didn't want them to come before I visited family because they're obviously gonna be in my space even though they're wearing masks. So I scheduled the move for literally like <laughs> a month after. And I'm also going to get my hair cut, which is insane. Do you guys see how long it is right now? It reaches like my, almost my belly button. Um, and I think it's long enough where I can donate um, to Love and Locks, which makes, I think, wigs for kids who have or are battling cancer. Might as well just chop it to here. <laughs> My brows are super light on their own, so I always want to fill them in a little bit. over here in the next clip maybe you'll see a piano here everything looks crazy because i just have plants <laughs> everywhere right now they're coming Stop. 
have a piano. I think I have like a loose vision in mind for what I want to do. I think I want to put like dried flowers on top. Probably not this space. I might go try to thrift a vase today, but I'm just gonna try some stuff out and see, see what I like. some errands now before my hair appointment at two. For today, I'm just wearing this super old like dad turtleneck that I thrifted a long time ago. This is one of my go-to knits for the fall winter because it's just super oversized and I think it looks really flattering. I can't believe this is gonna be the last time I have long hair in a while. Ooh, you know that like pre-haircut like nervousness, I have that right now. I'm wearing my trousers as well, and then I'm gonna wear my Aloha sandals because I wanna do it before it starts snowing out, and I think it's supposed to snow tomorrow, and I'm gonna be driving anyway, so it's gonna be a very chill look. Just getting my reusable bags for groceries. Uh, you can get these at any of your like local zero waste stores. I'll also leave a link to some online ones um, if you want to buy them online instead. Get my mask on. Let's go. This is the look. <laughs> Can you guys see? hair salon <laughs> i'm excited but i'm a little nervous but i feel like it's gonna be good you know doing it for a good cause i haven't had short hair in forever but i think it's gonna look good <gasps> so short. Do I see this? Wow. 
It feels so weird to move my head like this. I basically came home and just showered again because I feel like it just felt weird. So she curled it when I left, but now it is natural. I put some texturizing spray in. I feel like this is gonna be a whole new journey trying to figure out how to style this in a way that I like, but it's so crazy. I wanted to get it to sit in like a nice beachy wave texture, but this is what it looks like so far. Ah. Anyway, I want to show you what I ended up getting at the grocery store so that I can put them away. This used to be my hair. That's so crazy. This looks so like weird to see. That's crazy. That's how much hair I chopped up. Oh my gosh. First place we went to was I got fresh bread, so I'll open this a little later. They have these vegan dumplings. I got a bunch of to organic tofu. This is ah, soy basil tempeh and some shifu tofu, which is barbecue flavor. I'm really excited about this one. And then I got some cherry tomatoes, which I hope aren't squished. <laughs> Ooh, they look so gorgeous. Then I went to the Korean grocery store because I wanted tteokbokki, so I'm gonna make these for dinner today. And they have cheese inside them, which I'm really excited about. And then I just got some um, yams. This is a really small haul. It's not what I typically buy on a weekly basis, but I still have a bunch of veggies in the fridge, so I really just wanted some protein options. And then I got some snacky things on the side, but I'm going to sanitize these, the like plastic ones at least, and put them in the fridge. So what I do with my groceries, because I'm still very <laughs> specific in particular, with keeping things clean is I will leave them for three days outside. I still do that. I don't know if anyone else is still doing that. And I wipe down everything else with like an alcohol um, spray. Uh, but I want to cut the bread on camera because it is one of my favorite things to do. Like fresh bread is amazing. Ah. Oh, it smells so good. It's a little hard now because I left it in my car, but it's so gorgeous. Look at it. Oh, I'm gonna eat a little bit right now because. Oh god. I got another knife. It's so intense. I feel like home doesn't feel like home until I have fresh bread at home. I really want to try to tr like bake it myself but I'm scared. What if I don't make good bread? Pretty fresh for the next day or two. And then after that, usually I just cut it into slices and keep it in the fridge or I'll freeze some. It gets so dark so early now and <laughs> the seasonal depression is going to come real quick. This sounds so good. Look at how yummy this looks. I'm going to eat this and watch another episode of Startup, which if you're into K-dramas and if you're watching, I have such second lead syndrome, I can't even. I think I'm going to end the vlog here because there was so much that happened today. It was a bit of like a healing vlog, um, but I hope that you're well. Let me know how you're doing and what you've been up to down below. Please leave a like if you want to see more vlogs and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone. Love you.